capstones in general was great because it gave me the confidence that I needed in my own technical abilities to walk into an interview and say, hey, I can actually do a data science project from start to finish. If you want me to build a segmentation model or if you want me to do a predictive model, like I can do that because I've done it in the past. So that's the power of the capstone project. I think the one thing that really stood out in my mind in terms of the capstone project was the very first one where it was guided because, you know, if you're like me and you've never really done something like this from start to finish before, it can seem very intimidating. And that very first capstone project, you know, really gave me an understanding of the flow of, of what a project would entail for data science, but it also kind of calmed my nerves a little bit in terms of showing me that it's actually not as daunting or intimidating that I, as I thought in my mind. Right, And it also kind of gives you a bit of a formula that you can use and replicate for other sorts of projects in the future, which is eventually what you know I ended up doing for the second and third capstones. The fact that there's three capstones, it definitely allowed me to get my reps in, in such a way that, you know, walking into an interview, I'm not really afraid. I, I don't, I feel like I don't have imposter syndrome as much because I've gone through it, I've done it and it gave me the confidence to, to basically say, hey, throw whatever you got at me, I can figure this out. And I think that's another key point is, you know, not only do the capstone projects give you the reps in terms of developing, uh, uh, you know, a data science model from start to finish, but it also gave me the practice um, and experience for me to realize that there's really no challenge in the technical space that I can't solve because, you know, there's a lot of resources online. There's a great community at Springboard. And, you know, because I developed such a great relationship with my with my mentor, I can definitely, you know, pick his brain whenever I run into an issue. And, and you know, he can definitely do the same with me when, when he has any questions around you know, things around finance, which is kind of my area of expertise. So yeah, the Capstone Projects was definitely uh, helpful and definitely important uh, in terms of my personal and professional development in, in this data science space. Another benefit of the Capstone Project is that you get to actually choose the topic and you can choose the models that you're interested in developing. So for my final Capstone Project, I decided to create a uh, stock prediction model based on data inputs from time series data from the stock market, but also Twitter data, daily Twitter data from the S&P 500. So, you know, not only was I building a model, but I also had to actually build an automated process to download tweets, 500 tweets, which was the limit for Twitter uh, every day, every trading day and save it onto my computer for, for further analysis. So, you know, that project didn't just cover building a model, like a simple time series forecasting model. It also covered natural language processing and it also covered some data engineering aspects such as building a pipeline to gather the data needed from Twitter. I got exposure to playing with the, the Twitter API, which is something that I never really got a chance to do in my master's program or online. You know, being able to do that and combine it with, you know, natural language processing and time series forecasting, you know, that gave me, you know, a lot to talk about in my interviews for data science roles or for typical uh, analytics roles in general. Um, so definitely a great experience overall.